This is the Good Neighbor Podcast, the place where local businesses and neighbors come together. Here's your host, Cabo Jim Schaller. Welcome, Good Neighbors. Episode number 198 of the Good Neighbor Podcast is sterile. Today, we have Good Neighbor Daisy Adams from WSI. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, pleasure always to get to know more about the people in here in the community. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Why don't you share a little bit about what you do over at WSI? Okay, so uh, uh, WSI is a digital marketing franchise. It stands for We Simplify the Internet. We help local businesses grow by crafting customized digital marketing strategies that focus on lead generation, brand visibility, and customer retention. Interesting. So let's back up your story a little bit. How did you get involved in all this? So my uh, journey into digital marketing began um, when I used to be in real estate. I used to have to try and figure out ways to market myself. And uh, it was hard finding a company to take on a small account. So I started trying to explore it myself. And I realized that I liked it. So I went ahead and got into a program at uh, the University of Miami, a uh, digital marketing program. And uh, fast forward uh, to today, at the time I was working as a uh, business broker and uh, found WSI and I thought it was a perfect match for me. And uh, here I am. Wow, interesting. Yes, and it's it's very, I wanna say convoluted, very technical and it's a lot to, you know, for people to do it themselves is what I'm trying to say. Uh, it is. It's, yeah. all, it's, it's kind of overwhelming is the word I was looking for. Um, it's just, you know, because with the technology constantly changing, things are improving, things are, you know, the way you do it today is different from the day you do, the way you do it tomorrow. So um, for sure. speaking about some of that, um, everybody's had some type of challenge along your way and your journey, whether it's personal or with business or studying a new venture. Is there something that happened along your journey that we can kind of look back at now and say, you know what, I'm in a better place now because of it? Well, I'll tell you that, um, and it, it's not work related, but one of the big challenges I, I've had to face was uh, with Hurricane Ian, which left me homeless. And wow. uh, I'd have to say that was one of the toughest times I faced. Uh, it was it, it really put into perspective how, you know, your life can change in, in the spur of a moment. And uh, I had to adapt and learn to be resilient and uh, continue to be uh, resourceful and determined to keep pushing forward. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it changed a lot of people's lives, so definitely. Yeah. And then our most recent hurricanes have just kind of added to that. Where, where were you, if I may ask? I was uh, uh, here in, um, in the Estero. Area. Yeah, Estero. Okay. Wow. It's and it's like I said, then so much has changed and been devastating, especially along the beach. You know, down in Fort Myers Beach. I know a number yeah, of people it, down there, and it's just uh, it's it's going to change the way it is. We've lost a little bit of charm there, but I guess you know it'll change and improve and move forward. Um, yeah, and hopefully we'll getting probably- back to WS. Yeah. Oh, yes, exactly. It may take a while, but we'll get there for sure. So getting back to WSI a little bit, what you do as far as digital marketing and and helping smaller businesses are concerned, are there any maybe myths or misconceptions that we could clear up for our listeners? Um, Yeah. So one common misconception is that digital marketing is just about having a website and running ads. Uh, While those are important, a true digital strategy is much more holistic. Uh, It's about understanding the customer's journey, creating valuable content, and using data-driven insights to make smarter marketing uh, decisions. Another myth is that digital marketing is only for large companies, uh, when in fact, small businesses can benefit the most from targeted online strategies that maximize every dollar spent. Absolutely. Yeah. It's not just for the big boys nowadays. Uh, it's it's yeah. easy for people to get out there and smaller business. So they just need a little guidance from people like yourself. So do you notice anything talking about that? Are, are there any trends in the industry currently? Oh, goodness. Um, yes, I guess the big one there is AI lately. <laughs> it's the big talk of the town. <laughs> 
it's, yeah. it's definitely changing the way people do things. It's, you know, it's, it's one of those double-edged swords. It could be good. It could be, <laughs> it depends how it's used, right? It is. Uh, but I always tell people it's a powerful tool and a tool that you should be leveraging. Um, but I do believe that the most important thing is to keep the human in the loop. And, and hence that is our tagline, embrace digital and stay human. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. We need that human touch for sure. So you mentioned that you lived in Astero. Are you from this area originally? I'm originally from New York. Okay. Been- what, brought you, what brought you down here? Well, um, running away from the cold, for one, that's uh, <laughs> that's the number one thing I would say uh, brought me here. Um, but I do love living in Florida and um, living in this area. I would say, you know, this area it has a lot to offer. And so uh, mainly I got here because my husband at the time, um, his job moved him here to the Fort Myers area. Interesting. Yeah, we all want to get away from the cold. I'm from the Midwest originally and, and same thing. Yeah. Not shoveling, no more shoveling. I want to be done. That's right. So doing your own business, I'm sure it's very demanding on your time, but is there something you enjoy, especially down here in Southwest Florida, doing when you get a moment of time to yourself? Oh, yeah. Um, I guess I'd have to say uh, spending time with family is like my one number one priority, um, but I also enjoy um, exploring local events and enjoying connecting with people, learning more of, uh, from business, other business owners, I should say, and just enjoying the beautiful area we live in. Absolutely. That's why we all live down here. It's still paradise to us. We love it. We love the mm-hmm. weather. So yeah. is there one thing you wish our listeners knew about WSI that maybe they wouldn't be so familiar with? I guess I'd have to say that um, I wish listeners knew that we what we do goes beyond just providing digital marketing services. Uh, we focus on truly understanding clients' businesses, their goals, and their challenges. It's a partnership, not just a service. Our goal is to help businesses grow by providing strategies that align with their specific needs and deliver real measurable results. Absolutely. I love that. I love that. So how would our listeners go about contacting you if they wanted to learn more, they needed some help with with their marketing? Sure. Uh, Listeners uh, can visit my website, uh, connect with me via LinkedIn, or give me a call to set up a meeting. Uh, My phone number is 239-356-5504. My website is wsiworld.com forward slash daisy dash Adams, and that's A-D-A-M-E-S. Don't forget the A, the ES, absolutely. (laughs) Well, it's actually Adamas. It's just, I guess, like the Spanish version of Adams. There we go. Perfect. Any last words for our listeners? Any last words? Um, uh, I just would say, um, you know, keep supporting small businesses. They're the heart of our communities. I agree 100%. And thank you for what you do to help them as well, too. It's been a pleasure getting to know you. Thank you for being such a good neighbor, and I hope to see you out in the community soon. Thank you. You too. Thank you for listening to the Good Neighbor Podcast Estero. To nominate your favorite local businesses to be featured on the show, go to gnpestero.com. That's gnpestero.com. Or call 239-296-2621.